It is just past 8 o'clock. I just brought Arthur back from my WALK this morning. And Sean is in the shower. And we're up so Sean can get ready for work and so I can drive him to work. Good morning. So I went to bed sometime past midnight. I'm not sure when. Um, and woke up. It was really hot in Sean's room. It's kind of gross. And I don't know when Sean has went to bed. I can only hope that he's gotten enough sleep. Um, he works 9 a.m. today till 1 o'clock. So. It's not a long shift, so that's not bad, but still, having to get up early. Okay, I've dropped you off. Bye! There's one problem. What's the problem? Uh, uh, I don't start work till 9, and the library actually doesn't open till 9. We were really, um, fast this morning. I don't know, it feels like yeah. we were gonna come here, and it was gonna be like I, I closer had, to 9. Yeah. But I've never, that I can recall, I don't think I've ever worked before the library was open. Yeah. And I don't know how to get into the library, like, another yeah. way. I'm probably just going to have to go to the door and be like, let, let me in. in. Alright, I gotta go to work. I'm going to finish my breakfast. Oh. Oh, Mom. Bye. Guess what, guys? I made pizza. I did, I did, I did. No, I did all the work. I just cut it, so you, I yeah, totally did it yeah, all. Yeah, you cut it, but I made all the pizza and I made bacon because somebody wanted bacon on their pizza. Bacon's so I, yummy on pizza. So I, I, I made bacon. I'm going to put some on mine, too. No, you said it all for me. You said you didn't want any. What? It's, there's a lot. You said you didn't you don't want need, any. So I didn't need any. I didn't say I didn't want any. Okay, well, you don't need any. <laughs> I know a good way to, to annoy Lydia. What? Well, I made pizza. Did you me pizza? P R Z Z A. Pizza. P R Z Z A. You gonna stop? <laughs> Am I Joel from The Last of Us? Thanks, sir. Dead body don't So Sean had a four hour shift, and I had planned to do a lot of things during that time. I had stuff to do with my phone, I wanted to deal with all the pictures and video that was on it, I wanted to do some laundry, and I had like little things and I was probably going to make some food, and the other thing that I wanted to do was look through and find all the comic pages of Hannah is not a boy's name. If you don't remember, there is a poster in my room, it looks like this. Um, it is from Hannah is not a boy's name. It is a webcomic that I absolutely love, but unfortunately um, the creator stopped making it and the website it had been on um, was down and it obviously wasn't coming back. It was just gone and the deviant art of the creator had some of the panels, but it didn't have all of them. So I was searching the internet to find the pages because I actually have like the chapter one was printed out in like a comic book fashion and it was beautiful and I own that and I'm so happy but I want the rest of the story and I wanted to try searching for it in case someday it just vanishes completely because there's bits and pieces still around um, and I wanted to know it even though it ends at a cliffhanger and I have no idea what would have happened next um, 
I still really enjoy it and I really like and I really wanted to have the comic that it still existed. So that's what I was doing. I was looking for all the pages of the comic um, and I found a source that had most of them. It's missed one, at least one that I noticed, but I found that missing page and then I look at the clock and it's been three hours. I was also reading, rereading the comic again as I was finding the pages, but like it took a long time because I was just saving. Well, I was looking at the image, I then saved it, put it in the folder, had to n number it. It was a long, long time. But it was worth it because I'm so happy now I have it all and I don't have to worry about it suddenly disappearing. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna make Sean read it. Um, because I like it so much, Okay. I want you to know, like... Alright. I will read it, and you will, I will have you read a, a comic book series of mine. But you're gonna pick something that's, like, huge. Well, how, how long is... It's not even three, like, like chapters. Oh. Chapter one, in which there is a bat, and it kicks Hannah's ass. Chapter 2, in which a ghost becomes too much of a theater critic, and I don't know if there's a title for Chapter 3, or if we've kind of gone into it, but like, I don't know. But those are, it's good, it's so good, well, even just saying. It, it seems like there's not a lot of it. There's not a lot. So you'll read it fast, so I'll, and then you'll have nothing else to go on. Well, I'll, I'll make you read one of my comic things then, and I'll just make sure it's a shorter one. Okay. It's a trade-off. That's fine. And then after finding all of the comic, and reading it all, and wasting all that time, which, which I don't find is a waste at all, but I, it was just long. I also just was looking for, like, extra art and bits that... Um, the creator did because I know there was stuff out there that I really enjoyed and I didn't want to lose it in case it was gone forever because like not everything's on our DeviantArt so I had to search for everything and I I found um, some really cool stuff and I'm really really happy it was a really good time spent but it just got me really tired looking at a computer and just searching and looking at pictures constantly. And I didn't get to do anything else that I wanted to do. So it just felt like... It felt like a waste. But I'm so happy that I have it all and I know it wasn't a waste of time and I had to do it eventually. So I might as well do it when I have access to the computer. So I went to the store earlier and on my way there I just, you know driving down the road like I do and uh, this one guy was very impatient and decided to be going like 15 over the speed limit and uh, he was in the fast lane and apparently 15 over the speed limit was too slow for him so he swerved out of the fast lane into the slow lane to get around the car in front of him uh, however there was a cyclist uh, in the slow lane and he came so close to smashing into him like I saw it happen and I was just like this was almost really 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 bad that guy was an idiot the, the, the driver of the car not the cyclist and I was like oh you're so impatient like he was already going probably like 15 over and he's just like nope still too slow and you know of course he like you know sped up really fast to get around this one car and decided to be a jerk about it and didn't signal and was like and yeah really almost almost took out a guy on his bike and then I almost watched that happen that would have been horrible uh, it frustrates me when I see bad drivers you see it all the time you know you, see, you always see people not stopping at stop signs and Talking on their cell phones or texting, that's the worst. I can't believe people still do that. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
Or drunk drivers. People drive drunk all the time. It's ridiculous. Uh, uh, it's very, very annoying. But anyways, I made it to the, the store fine and then made it back home alive, luckily, apparently, because people on the road are stupid, apparently. All right, guys, it's late. Uh, it doesn't feel late, but it is late. And uh, we need to go to bed, okay? Okay. Good night, guys.